Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. Last night we had piglets. We were able to catch the birthing on video. Some of the video didn't turn out that great because we had a flashlight hanging up. But uh, we hope you enjoy. And guess what, Kevin? You're a dad. <laughs> Welcome back to the farm. It's uh, the 15th of December, which is Sassy's due date. It is 1030 at night. Ducks are over there wondering what the heck all this noise is. I'm not sure how this lighting is going to work, if you can even see me. But uh, we're going to check on Sassy. Uh, we were able to express some milk earlier and it says within 24 hours of doing that you should have piglets so i'm gonna stay out here with them for a little bit and uh oh there's a branch i don't want to interfere with her birthing or anything but i want to make sure the piglets are dry and under the heat lamps we've had a ton of loss around the farm lately and uh we don't want to lose any more especially piglets so Let's get over here and see how she's doing. This could be quite eventful or quite boring. Let's check it out. Oh well, guys, here she, here she is. She's uh, made herself quite a nice nest here. And uh, she is swollen. No piglets yet. Her milk has obviously come in and uh, it could be any time. We've been feeling piglets kick for a while. I'm going to try my best to uh, not interfere with anything. So, uh, looks like this is my bed tonight. And uh, we're just going to wait a little while and see if anything happens. Hey, good morning guys. Uh, I made it till just after midnight last night. The accommodations weren't too superb. My back was killing me and she hadn't really moved at all. So I went in, I came back out at five this morning and she was already up. It's just after seven now, she's eating. And I, it could be today, so. I don't know. I'm supposed to go into work tomorrow. Don't know if I'm going to take that chance. I don't want to lose any piglets. I want to make sure these guys are warm. She is definitely swollen. Swollen and ready. And like I said, we were able to express some milk last night. So supposedly 24 hours. So we'll keep updating throughout the day. See where she's at. I'm going to be back and forth checking on her. But uh, hopefully it's soon. We'll keep you updated. All right, guys, we are on pig watch. It is right around 11 o'clock on the 16th. Checked her at seven. Um, now it's 11 and it's a little bit rainy and nasty outside, but she's just she was just laying in here when I came. And uh, starting to look a little uncomfortable, so I'm not sure it's gonna be that much longer. We've got some errands to run in, and uh, then we will be back out to check on her. But she looks like she is getting close. 
so we'll keep an eye on her and we'll be back in a couple hours and hopefully we can catch some of these pigs. Hey guys, we are back out here. It is three o'clock. Um, she is, you can kind of just tell she's very uncomfortable. I do not think we have long now. Super excited, a little bit dusty in here, but you can just tell she is uncomfortable. So I'm gonna be out here with her for a while now. Kids are coming out to check on her. We should not have long. I think we'll have pignets, piglets today or into this evening. So we will wait and see. Well guys, it's six o'clock and you can see she is, looks to be pushing. We're just gonna leave the camera running and uh, see what happens here.
Good morning guys it is just after seven o'clock i felt a little guilty i only made it till 1 30 last night i was sitting out here with the pigs and they were leaving mama and going back and under the lights and back to her and i felt like they were good and we try to do things as natural as possible and not interfere with stuff so but we wanted to be out last night just to make sure they were dried off and not frozen so we helped out a little bit um, normally I just like to leave the mama here and let her do everything, but Sassy's been a great mama. I came back out just shortly before seven o'clock and it's just after seven now. I just got done feeding and, uh, everybody is fantastic. So I went back in, like I said, at one thirty. tried to sleep a little bit, but didn't really get too much sleep because you're just worried about, oh my gosh, did a pig wander off and is it out there freezing? But I managed to get a little sleep and uh so we're out here now great sign sassy is up and eating um we got her some fresh water it looks brown we put molasses in it uh just to give her a little energy booth boost after uh all that excitement last night so awesome that she's up and eating she passed the afterbirth probably about an hour after the last piglet came so uh Let's check out these piggies. I know it's dark in here. I'm not sure how this video is gonna turn out. Let's see. 
There we go. I got the light popped on, but you can see them. Everybody's still alive and kicking, and they're quite warm. Um, she just got up to eat, obviously, so they're probably wondering where the heck she went, but some of them have come over here and uh, found the heat lamps, which is awesome. Let me see if I can grab these ones that are sitting here. That way when she comes back, she'll have a easier time laying down as well. We haven't checked them out too great, but we think all these ones with black, the mostly black ones are all boys. And uh, the ones with the most white are the girls. So if that is correct, and we'll check later, we don't really care right now. Um, we got four girls and uh, three boys. So pretty exciting. Quite an amazing thing to capture on tape. We were able, I haven't looked back at the recording, but we were able to get all of them birthing. So that was pretty sweet quite an amazing thing to see so anyway everyone's alive and good and it's about 19 degrees here maybe it said it feels like 19 i think it's in the 20s something it's only supposed to get in the low 30s today but i think our little farrowing spot has done quite well and uh like i said my home was right there last night in the chair and i was just watching them and they'd come to the light and they'd come back and wanted to make sure they knew where they were going and no one getting away from mama getting lost and stuck somewhere so they all did fantastic so this is our registered litter uh for those that care Ari Gianna and Tonganui are the two lines we're just happy they're healthy and everybody's alive so far Usually it's, once you get past the first three days, they're pretty hardy animals. So, got two more days to come out here and stress a little bit, but I'm not really stressed right now. They all look like they're doing well. They know where to find this little heated area if they need it. And that way, when mama comes and lays down, she don't have to worry about them up under her and getting crushed. So pretty awesome jamie was one day off she had it down as december 15th they came december 16th and i think it was right around six o'clock at night i'm not too sure but they're doing well and of course they come when it's super cold last week we had really nice mild temperatures and they decide to come when it's really cold out so and that one might be having the shivers a little bit but Mama's up there eating. She's going to finish up and uh, get back here, and I'm sure she'll be nursing. She didn't move most of the night. She was right up here, laid up against this wall. Everyone was nursing. She built that nice nest around them. We kind of put it up a little bit just to keep the sides up, to keep any drafts off of them. But uh, it looks like she's going to have some help from the Polish, Polish chickens today just to make sure everyone stays in. Good morning, Sassy. You did a great job. She care less about me. She probably wants another cup of food. Like I said, we do put molasses in the water just to give her an extra little energy boost for the next day. And uh, just awesome, guys. She is, uh, she's our first... Now she's a sow. Once they have a sow, they're... Once they have piglets, they're called sow. She's our first sow bread on the farm well she wasn't bread on the farm she was cupcakes baby and she was born on our farm so we've raised her since a piglet and kevin was brought to the farm pretty young he was about eight to ten weeks so these are our first piglets that were bred here well i shouldn't say that because boudreaux and hazel's had some bread here but first registered preg piglets from our farm and we're quite excited about that so it's taken a while to build up our herd and it's still going to take a while because most of our piglets 
our pigs that we've got for registered pigs are still piglets, so they won't be having piglets for a while. So this was our first one bred on the farm, registered piglets, so pretty exciting. So I'm going to spend most of my day out here making sure these guys are warm enough, adjusting heat lamps as needed, making sure no one's getting rolled up on, but if she's anything like Cupcake, Cupcake was super good if she'd lay down. And I'll tell you what, being a pig mama, it is hard to, uh, them guys are all over the place and you can't hardly lay down because they're trying to nurse. So that's a tough job being a pig mama. And, uh, but anytime Cupcake laid down and she heard one squeal, she jumped up super fast and Hazel or other sow, she would just lay there. She, <laughs> I think she had selective hearing, but so hopefully she's like her mama and takes care when she hears them squeal she's up and about but she was super cool super good us being in here we tried not to interfere we just wanted to wipe them and get them dry just being as cold as it was and she did not care about any of that so she was awesome so i'm sure there's going to be a ton more pig pictures and videos and everything else and uh like we said in one of our cooney cooney videos it was so fun because Every pig that came out was different, different patterns, different spots, colors. Quite an amazing thing to see. So we appreciate you guys following along. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And uh, there will be a lot more pig videos if, if you enjoy these. So appreciate you guys following along. We'll see you on the next video.